the goal of A3, as Mark said earlier, of course, is our entry to our Audi brand, but it still is very much an Audi. You have advanced technologies you'd expect, the Audi driving experience that you'd expect, and especially with the interior quality, which is something that we're known for. All of that, which is in the A3, at its base price of $31,200, uh, and it is our entry luxury sedan segment with everything you'd expect from Audi. So, also important here, we have a full model line of cars. So it's not just a sedan. You have the A3 Cabriolet. You have the sedan, which makes up the bulk of the sales. You have the A3 Sportback e-tron. And then, of course, the S3 you've seen here, which you will be driving today. So I will take these into pairs. So I'll start with the A3 cab and sedan, and then we'll talk about the e-tron and the S3 a little bit later. So the first thing you should know is, obviously, this has been refreshed, and then you have a much sportier exterior design. So we have a new headlight design, a new front grille, which, if you can see, kind of mirrors itself with that of the A4. So it aligns with the A model uh, design theme at the moment. And so you have an undercut uh, headlight. You come standard with Xenon headlights. You have LEDs optional. Um, of course, this is compared to our competition where you have a lot of halogens standard, and we come in with LEDs. Um, new 17, 18 inch wheels. This car is shown on the 19s, but you have two 17s and two 18s available uh, for the new A3. Going to the back, you'll see a much more uh, prominent rear diffuser, new bumpers, new side sills, and updated LED taillights with a new light signature. And when you get LED headlights, you also get dynamic turn signals in the rear, which are the swiping ones, which when you're turning left, it swipes to the left, and the uh, engineers, uh, when they uh, did their research, uh, it made, they noticed that the brain recognizes quicker which way you're turning if the light goes in that direction as well. Before, our S-Line exterior, which you see here, uh, used to be only on Prestige, and now we brought it down to Premium Plus, which is one of our, uh, I guess, the majority of our cars now will have this very sporty exterior, so our goal was enhancing the sportiness of the car, so we've made S-Line more available as well. Looking on the interior, this is somewhere where uh, we are very much a benchmark with interior design and quality. That carries through on the A3 as well, and you can see here, dual zone auto climb control, standard on every A3. New for 2017 with a sport package is the flat bottom steering wheel, which also comes with uh, shift paddles. Uh, you have standard leather seating surfaces. You have standard uh, panoramic sunroof compared to some of our competition, which has vinyl seats, and they have a fixed roof. And then uh, you have aluminum interior package, and new uh, for the cabriolet is partial power seats for the driver and passenger standard on every car. On the powertrain, this is uh, quite exciting. For our base car, we replaced our 1.8T, which had 170 horsepower and 200 pounds of torque, with a new 2-liter motor. Uh, which is 186 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque, so gains of 16 and 21, respectively. Uh, this in decreased our 0 to 60 time on the sedan by 0.6 seconds to 6.6, and uh, half a second to 6.9 on the cabriolet. So both of our entry-level cars uh, in either body style are under 7 seconds, 0 to 60. The 2-liter Quattro car is carryover motor. Uh, we are very well received from our customers on this car with the performance and efficiency that offers, so we carried it over. 220 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. Again, sub six seconds, zero to 60 times, 5.8 for the sedan and 5.9 for the cabriolet. Infotainment is probably the largest upgrade uh, to the A3. Everything that you saw from the A4, you're now going to see for the most part in the A3. So you have dual uh, USB inputs uh, available, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto also available on this car. You have now the Audi virtual cockpit. Has anyone here not driven a car with virtual cockpit? Look at that, wonderful. So this is really our class leading uh, digital cockpit. So it's 15, excuse me, 1440 by 540 res resolution. It runs at 60 frames per second. It provides an absolutely lifelike and real motion for the needles. I've been driving this for over two years now uh, in different cars when it first launched in the TT. And uh, what I always say is, after a day with it, you forget you're looking at a screen, and that's the best thing you can say about any screen, because it is so lifelike. Any sunlight that hits it, you have twice the brightness of an iPad, it is always visible, and everything moves as it should, and there's no delays. Because uh, nothing's worse than looking at something where you see the needles lagging behind what's actually doing, or they don't move in a real fashion. Um, Bang Olsen sound system, 705 watts in the sedan, I think 625 in the Cabriolet due to the different speaker placements. And then uh, MMI Touch, where you can write in your navigation and uh, with your finger right on the, for the navigation. It makes it a lot easier than having to scroll through to find the numbers, or, or letters, excuse me. What we've also done, carrying down from the A4, which is, we started with the Q7, we carried that down to the A4, and now we've carried down a lot of those down to the A3 to our entry level. 
So, as you see in the front here, on the bumper of every car below the rings, you'll see a radar sensor. That is our uh, autonomous emergency braking, a front collision warning, standard on every single A3 uh, family vehicle. So, if you're not paying attention, it will apply the brakes and potentially stop the car and mitigate the collision for you. Please don't try that today, but it does work. You'll have to trust me. Uh, Audi side assist now comes with rear cross traffic assist. So when you are backing out of a perpendicular spot, like in this lower uh, image, when the car or a person is four seconds away, it does displays a red arrow on your uh, rear view camera screen. Then at three seconds away, it beeps at you and says, hey, you should stop. And then if you still are too busy texting or doing something else that you're not supposed to do when driving and you back out at one second, it will beep and then apply the brakes and stop the car for you. So adaptive cruise and stop and go, standard on prestige, same with active uh, lane assist and high beam assistant. On the e-tron, uh, I actually have one of these cars now. Uh, I really love this vehicle, um, and especially with the updates for 2017. As you can see on the front here, you now see what we call our signature e-tron lighting, where in the lower grills you'll have lighting on all e-trons that follow this as sort of an identifier for them. But the goal of this car was you have efficiency, you have the performance you expect from Audi, you can drive an all electric when you want to, but you don't have to worry about range anxiety because you have a motor and you can drive further when it's needed. So you have 60 miles of range on full battery, 380 miles combined, uh, 83 mpge combined, and then with just the gas motors, 34 miles per gallon combined with the 1.4 in this vehicle. So again, standard panoramic sunroof, uh, you have the signature e-tron lighting that I spoke about, 43.5 cubic feet of cargo capacity, which uh, is quite a lot for a smaller hatchback. Uh, when you look at a Q3 and you pull down the seats, it's 48.2 cubic feet. So very similar, especially in a car that is smaller. New for 17, we start with 17 inch wheels, uh, instead of the 16s that we had uh, previously. And again, standard Audi presets front. You have available smartphone interface with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, and then uh, MMI navigation with the uh, touch wheel. This is one of the best upgrades to the e-tron because as you know, we have the virtual cockpit in a majority of our cars. We launched with TT, and then I went to Q7, and then I went to A4, and then R8, and now into A3. Um, it is the same hardware, yet they all have different software to have a different uh, effect. And so with the e-tron, you now have specific displays in the car that show your power meter. Uh, you can have a tachometer in the bottom of your uh, percentage power meter as well, so you know when the gas engine's on. Uh, it's customizable with how you want to display your information, and it really brings us into a full like uh, electric car, and it uh, enhances it, I think, greatly. Now, for the S3, the car you will all be driving. More technology in this car that we brought with A3 follows through to the S3. Uh, again, more enhanced, sportier styling. Uh, big improvement, the updated Quattro system. Uh, this I'll talk about shortly, but it takes what we have in the TT and TTS and brings it down to the S3. And uh, this is our highest performance A3 model uh, at the moment. <laughs> the Quattro system. This is something that is specifically just for Audi. This is in-house software for this vehicle, S3, and for the TT and TTS. And so now you have the Quattro adjustability via drive select. So based on your driving mode, the Quattro will handle differently how it handles the power. So in auto or comfort, it's your standard Quattro where you're gaining for uh, torque, uh, excuse me, traction and normal everyday drivability. When you put it into dynamic mode, it will send more of the power to the rear. And this then also will not reduce any of the torque if you get into an oversteer situation where usually we would re um, reduce power to the rear if we start to see it sliding up to maintain traction. Now it'll keep it going. So it really enhances the fun to drive factor and the driving dynamics of this vehicle. And I think you'll experience that a lot today when you're out on your loop. Make sure you cycle through the drive select modes. In individual mode, you can adjust the Quattro individually. If you want to have sport steering and sport suspension and see the comfort mode on the Quattro, go through play with it. Every drive mode that you have is something that you will feel a difference on. On the motor, this is our same 290 horsepower, 280 pound-feet of torque motor, which we say it's 4.7 seconds, 0 to 60, but as we know from the first one, it's really a sub four and a half second car. Car and driver, I think, got 4.4 seconds on it. Uh, and I think this is always funny because uh, back in the day, I used to own an RS4, which did it in about under four and a half seconds. And now you have an S3 at a fraction of the price doing it at the same. So now our S cars are as fast as our RS cars from about, what, eight years ago. And so you can see where our RS cars are going to be moving forward. On the interior, a couple things that separate the S3 from the A3. As you see here, flat on a steering wheel standard, it is partially perforated on the sides, and you have full contrast stitch. So here on the black interiors, you have uh, silver contrast stitching, 
throughout on the knee pads, on the door armrest, around the steering wheel, the shifter boot, uh, etc. The virtual cockpit gets specific modes on the S car, as you can see here. It has a centrally mounted tachometer. You can put a map on the left. You can put your fuel economy or uh, you know the date of time on the right. You also have built-in lap timers, uh, and at the bottom it'll show you the boost and also your oil temperature. And this is exclusive to S cars and then also uh, R cars. So the R8 has a similar mode as well. Also, one of the big things about the S3 and every car you're driving today has them are the S Sport seats. These are our super sport seats. So we go standard seats, sport seats, and then super sport seats. And with this, you get diamond stitching, you get bigger bolsters, you get extendable uh, thigh support, and uh, they're extremely comfortable seats that will hold you in place. And they look good too. Yes. So S Sport seats, as we call them in Audi speak. So, as a highlight, every S car that you know gets alu on the front grille, alu mirrors, um, you have an option for red brake calipers. These are 19 inch uh, five double spoke star design wheels. We also have 19 inch five V spoke wheels, which are for black optic. So they're titanium, you can get the car with the black grille, and black surrounds and body color mirrors. On every S3 is standard LED headlights, and with standard LED headlights becomes uh, dynamic rear turn signals, which are swiping. And then of course, every S model, uh, every S car, quad exhaust on the back. So this always warms my heart because I say I'm the only person at Audi who likes color. So we have, uh, yes, oh, and Michelle, excuse me. I've been on a quest to bring back the green car and Michelle is my biggest supporter and uh, I like that. Yeah, uh, so uh, you saw the all roads, green, uh, I've green on the A4, A5. Uh, she is, I can see that. I know, did a green for R8 for the auto show last year. Uh, so. Um, here, big news, S3, uh, Vegas yellow, carryover from TTS. Uh, you have Daytona gray, Aura blue, and then Navarra blue, which this car is. And then new for the uh, A3 family as a whole, Nano gray, which is also a carryover from the S, a, uh, excuse me, TT. And then uh, Cosmos blue, uh, which is a nice darker blue. To recap, A3 is a very important car for us. Uh, it is great entry level into our brand. We've enhanced it with New design follows the rest of the A family now. Uh, increased technology, increased driver assistance features, and then on the base car, uh, better performance, better efficiency, and uh, barely any price change compared to the outgoing.